are there things I wish I could have done differently? Yes. The obvious one is, why didn't we pick 128 bits of address space in 1977 when we made the decision, I made the decision that the internet only needed 32 bits of address space? And, and many of you have already heard this story, but it's a very simple one. For a year, the engineers argued during 1976 about how big the address space should be. And uh, nobody came to any conclusions. Some people wanted variable length addresses, but the programmers hated that because that meant you had to spend cycles finding the fields in the packet, and they didn't want to waste any cycles. So that went out the door. And then the other guy said, well, how about 128 bits of address space? And uh, I remember thinking, that's 3.4 times 10 to the 38th addresses. This is an experiment. We don't even know if it's going to work. How on earth could we possibly argue that we need 3.4 times 10? That's like... 1.2 gigawatts. You remember the, you know, and <laughs> great Scott. So, <laughs> so, so, you know, in the end, I said, look, 32 bits gives us 4.3 billion unique terminations. That's got to be enough for an experiment. And you know, if it works, look, this is 1976, 77. Yeah. If it works, then we should do a production version. Well, the problem is we didn't ever end the experiment. So you're still part of it. It's 2010. We're going to run out. So if I could have done that differently, I would have. But I couldn't have passed the red face test trying to explain to anybody why I needed 128 bits of address space. 